When you follow advice on the internet, you usually hear one of two classes. The first says, no matter the goal, just push harder. And the other one says, no matter the goal, just trust and surrender and follow your gut and the path will be a lot easier. But in my opinion, it doesn't have to be either one of these things, but the middle path is by far the most interesting and the most effective. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, there's a free goal setting worksheet below this video that'll help you figure out how to have the best year ever of your life, all right? It'll show you how to set a vision, how to figure out daily goals and daily rituals to help you really make that a reality. So check it out, the first link below this video. Undeniable that some things you guaranteed will achieve just by dis being disciplined, just by having hard work behind you. You know, if you wanna get good at basketball or a sport like tennis, if you just show up and play every day and you're focused on strategically improving your game, you're gonna get better. It's also true if you're in the gym and you know what you're doing, or if you have a coach that says, if you just do these things based on my experience, you will see results. Doesn't mean you're gonna become the fittest person in the world, but you will see results. Or it could be school. If all you do is show up and do your homework every day and study every day, it doesn't mean you're gonna be the perfect straight A student, but you're probably gonna graduate school and do okay in school. It is undeniable that there are things in your life that if all you do is be disciplined and show up every day doing work, you're gonna make things happen and you're gonna be successful. But there are a lot of things where that isn't true and that the harder you work, it doesn't guarantee mean that your dreams are gonna come true. So when it comes to the discipline side of this sphere, the daily ritual that makes that happen is really being disciplined with your tiny daily habits, rituals, and tiny daily disciplines. That is the daily magic. That is the daily goal. Now, some things in life you achieve indirectly, basically through surrender or letting go. And the fact that you work harder than anyone else doesn't mean you're more likely to be successful than anyone else. And a great example of this is entrepreneurship, where as an entrepreneur, there are hundreds of factors other than how hard you work that will determine your success. If you consider that these venture-backed startups fail up to 90% via one statistic, with millions of dollars, the smartest people, and the most successful mentors, what does that tell you? Those three factors are probably not the single biggest factors in the success of the startup. They may be significant factors, but they still fail so much. The same is honestly true in love and sometimes even in friendship. Sometimes no matter how hard you try, the environment is just not conducive to you meeting people you really like or them meeting you. It could be because you're new in a town, or it could be there's a language barrier, it could be that you work alone, it could be that your values are different. And so things like friendship and work and entrepreneurship in particular, and love sometimes are non-linear. And chasing them doesn't mean you necessarily will get them faster, and that's very discouraging. But in this side of the bucket, the people who tell you to just trust your gut, follow your dharma, do your purpose, the daily discipline here involves basically Revisiting your beliefs, trusting your gut, letting go, and following your dharma, following those hunches about life. But in my opinion, the magic is all in the middle. The magic is when you combine both. If you want to find love, that is your big goal that would change your life. Not just expecting that your manifesting vision board is going to make your soulmate fall out of the sky, but also on the first side, the discipline side, what is my daily discipline? Maybe my daily discipline is I'm going to pick up a new hobby I've never done before in my life. Like for me, that was picking up bachata sensual, right? But sensual bachata dancing and salsa. That was a thing I never would have done in my life. I turned it into a daily ritual and I decided I'm gonna go three or four times a week, every single week. That was the daily discipline, the, the doing. And on the other side was trusting your gut about certain things. What does my gut inherently say I need to work on if I wanna find a serious relationship or find love? Maybe your gut or your intuition says that there's something about you you have to work on. Maybe your gut says, well, I probably need to get a bigger friend group because I work remotely and the chances of me meeting anyone besides at the coffee shop or the gym are basically zero. Or maybe your gut says it's time to move. It's time to go somewhere else where the community has more like-minded people or more of the same hobbies you like. So in my opinion, the magic is really in, yes, the letting go, the surrender, trusting your gut, listening to your gut, but also combining that with daily rituals and daily habits you know will also work. And when you do this, it's one plus one equals 10. This kind of synergy that happens is not just the synergy of day in, day out at the gym, and then I look fit after three years. 
and not just I'm going to trust and surrender that my soulmate's going to find me with no work, but it's I do trust and surrender and I'm going to work on those beliefs and I'm going to challenge myself mentally to grow and break those upper limits and I'm going to be doing the work every day, every single day. And that is when some incredible things can happen. So I think too many people get caught up in manifesting and all this stuff and they're not grounded. And too many of the grounded people are so in a box about so limited in the way they think. But in my experience, combine both and your life can become incredible. Check out these two related videos before you go because I have some other thoughts on manifesting and really building an incredible life.